Howdy, 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 my darling Virgo. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today we're going to get into your weekly tarot reading for June, darling. All right. So if you enjoy this tarot reading today, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, Virgo, as well as check out your sun, moon, rising and Venus sign, Virgo, to get the full spectrum of what's going down in your life in specific. All right. But enough, enough of the niceties, darling. Let's just get right into your tarot reading here today, Virgo. Let's see what it is that y'all are currently dealing with. All right. Ooh, darling. You have the Hermit energy, the Tower energy, as well as the Emperor stepping forward to y'all at this current point in time here, Virgo. Ooh, darling. All right. So I celebrate you guys right now, Virgo. I feel as if this Tower energy was necessary for you to happen for to happen in your life here because I feel as if you guys have been about thought just enough here. It's time for action here, Virgo. I feel as if spirit is now pushing you. You're going to be continuously dealing with life events here, Virgo, that's going to be pushing you to tap into your emperor energy. Obviously, darling Virgos, genders do not matter. Take a look at me, right? Genders do not matter, Virgo. And so what I see for you guys right now is that spirit is going to start bringing tower moments in your life from energies that have been making you feel small some of you guys the first thing i got in the, in my head here is and comes to a job here it's almost as if some of you virgos have been working like a job that devalues you or makes you feel like you're not appreciated or valued when it comes to relationships i feel like there's been a lot of conflict when it comes to connections in your life that have made you feel small or brought shame made you feel ashamed <laughs> Uh, Virgo, excuse me, cat hair darling, <laughs> that have made you feel ashamed for or brought the sense of shame for you to ever dabble into tapping more into your true essence here, Virgo. And so the first thing I really want to be pointing out to you, darling, all right, is that like welcome these tower, the, these tower moments here. All right. Welcome these tower moments. It's like something it's like. I get like this vision where it's just like someone's been poking the bear a little bit too much here, Virgo, and you finally have just snapped. You no longer are like internalizing things. You're just like maybe like reflecting and being like, oh, maybe I could do this and that to improve on the situation. It's like, no, you're starting to finally find your voice here. And I think that is so beautiful, Virgo. I think that is so beautiful. It's unfortunate that it has to come through this sense of like the tower moment, darling, right? But it's definitely a necessary thing to get you to your star energy, darling. I mean, hello. Come on now, Virgo. You guys are going to be getting right realigned back into your true soul's purpose, your true purpose here. Virgo is what I get. Some of you guys are going to be starting to finally reawaken certain abilities that you've had um, for a long time now. When I mean abilities, I mean, obviously, darling, my, my eccentric ass wants to immediately just go to like spiritual abilities. You might be finding yourself more intuitive at this time or you've always been intuitive virgo it's just that your intuition is now being confirmed by outside sources you're going to be starting to notice virgo that like your thoughts like you're going to be thinking something right and then like it starts happening like later that day or even if like when it comes to people and you're just like hmm i wonder how x y and z is doing and it's like i wonder if they're going to do this or that like it actually happens like shortly after all right virgo so start noticing how spirit is um really connected with you at this time because i feel like you are just really starting to wake up and get in tune with the universe and your soul's purpose here all right and it's it was necessary due to with this tower moment all right you need Needed to be pushed here, Virgo, and push, pushed you are, darling. All right, and so let's continue on here. You have the Five of Wands coming in here with the Knight of Swords coming in here, Virgo, and so what I get with this is like. <clears throat> You're going to be noticing with certain people devil energy. You're going to notice people showing their true colors to you. All right. I get for a lot of you guys, Virgo, the main problem for you, or it's not even a problem because you're going to handle it here, but the main um, <sighs> antagonist, isn't antagonist like the bad, per like the bad energy? The main antagonist in your life here, Virgo, is when it comes to people. You've always suppressed your voice when it comes to people because you don't want to rock the boat too much. You're you're too much. You're too kind of a person. You start reflecting too. It's like you start reflecting on why people are acting the way that they're acting, and because you can rationalize it and bring logic to the situation and be like, okay, they're acting in X, Y, and Z, so whatever. Just because you can understand it, just doesn't mean that you need to allow it in your life here, Virgo. All right, and. So 
so that's what i get for a lot of you guys is like that those that you chose to ignore red flags with or those that you gave the benefit of the doubt to be noticing how they're going to start revealing their colors to you all right be noticing that because i feel like spirit's not done yet putting a spotlight on certain things certain people especially here virgo that you just need to be disconnecting from and you don't need to be confronting this energy you you gain nothing from it you owe them nothing darling right but it's like your intuition that's what it is it's like your intuition is so spot on when it comes to these snakes in the grass when it comes to like you've under you've always known the intent behind people all right and so now it's now starting to come to the light it's now starting to reach its boiling point because these people couldn't maintain acting in this way forever without karma catching up to them or without them eventually being sloppy because that's what i see is happening is like some of them are starting to be sloppy around you all right so just be paying attention to that there all right but i really want to be celebrating you virgo like i like you finally just starting to put your foot down using your voice being more commanding all right so i like that a lot for you let's continue on here we have here the Ten of Swords, the Page of Wands, as well as the Ace of Wands coming in here. So it's like very fabulous for you, Virgo. And I really want you to be paying attention here because it's like, well, yes, you have that tower moment that we talked about, that tower moment with that devil energy, darling, all right? The Ten of Swords represents the closure of that, so, you know, Tens itself represents closures to cycles, Virgo. But in this dynamic the ten of swords is in the reverse for you so it's just like for you it's finally the sense of being able to close a chapter that in your life that you haven't been able to close in a long time here virgo all right i feel like this sense for you where it's like the shackles are finally starting to be removed in your life as these tower moments happen and so it's like in a way for you virgo you are starting to make uh, lemonade out of these lemons where you're just like you know what sucks that these tower moments had to happen but you see the benefit in it now things start opening up for you here virgo all right when you have the ace and the page of wands coming in here you have very valuable energy that you're going to be attracted to new opportunities coming in for you i get contracts for some of you guys here it's like by you finally standing up and using your voice i got i was just shown like the peacock by you showing like your feathers as the peacock now like it's like the the universe sees this and it's just like oh my gosh virgo is so beautiful virgo is so talented i didn't know virgo had this type of voice darling you'll notice the world starting to open up around you as well and i'm getting this is just like major 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 virgo magician energy where it's just like you guys are just like again very in tune with the spiritual world right now and what your thoughts are creating all right and so what i want to be suggesting to you at this current point in time here virgo is start paying is like lead with your heart more all right it, what you know it's like that saying where it's just like if you want to do something just do it because you're going to notice how uh the universe makes that path for you if you want to for example be like a content creator Creator. I always use that as the analogy. If you want to be a content creator and you're, in, you know, making your own money, being your own boss, you know, spirit's going to be seeing that and be like, all right, darling, you want to be a content creator, Virgo? We're going to get rid of these things that do not uh, bring value to you in your life to help you become that content creator. We're going to finally start getting rid of these energies that make you feel as if you don't, are not deserving to have a voice or what have you. All right. So that's where I see like the tower moment coming in for you guys is doing away with energies that have Done nothing but bring you down or have given you this false view of yourself that isn't ben that isn't for your benefit all right you have the two of wands coming in here with the five of swords and then the nine of swords coming in here virgo and so i get the main problem that you guys need to be dealing with virgo is like the sense of like reminding yourself that you do deserve nice things reminding to yourself that you are worthy of these contracts coming in these you know these long-term things because i get like the sense where it's like you are attracted to so many things sound good to you you are attracted to the idea of so many things but then you are just in your head being like oh like um it gets back into that imposter syndrome or whatever that is for you that insecurity virgo where you're just like oh well that's not meant for me or just what have you it's like no darling that is meant for you as i said you are very very much so right now virgo exuding magician energy so it's like if you start telling the universe that you're not worthy of x y and z they're gonna have this there like have these things presented to you initially but if you start saying no the universe is not gonna argue with you they're gonna be like all right darling you don't want this virgo we'll just bring it to the next person that thinks they are valuable enough for it 
All right. You all need to, the more that you start asking for a Virgo or demanding for, the more that you're going to be getting. All right. Some of you guys, Virgo, need to be comfortable with the idea that you're not everyone's going to perceive you in this like very happy go lucky, just like sensitive like way. Like there need there's a time and a place to be, you know, just very sensitive and wholesome and darling. I mean, take it from me, Virgo. All right. I completely understand. But there's also a time to be very bossed and being a boss. And so some of you guys need to just be putting your foot down and start calling the shots in that regard here. All right. Some of you guys have been sitting at this crossroads trying to figure out how you're going to make certain energies work out in your favor how you're going to be making certain people relevant in your life in the coming days here all right and you need to not be afraid of walking away all right some of you guys are afraid of walking away from situations because it's like even though those situations are uncomfortable to you it's still your uh your comfort zone because of the fact that you're just so used to for so long here you've been standing at this crossroads for quite some time here virgo and it's like you don't like you want to take this new path here but then you always like you start feeding yourself all these like false narratives or these um these ideas virgo where it's just like how things could mess up in 20 different ways when it's just like darling like it, it, it could be very prosperous for you if you allow it if you give it the time and the energy for it but you have to be able to give it that time and energy all right darling so that's the tarot reading that i got for you this week virgo all right y'all are just really claiming your power here and i'm just all here for it virgo so i love you so much darling hopefully i can connect with you sometime in the near future if you want to book a tarot reading with tarot reading with me go to my website simplyvelka.com it's linked down below next to my social medias tiktok and instagram being simply velka as well same as here and i'll be connecting with you darling sometime in the near future bye virgo